battle against child sexual abuse intensifies. Michelle coming forward led to many other persons coming forward also. Many children coming, they are, they are calling, they, they, they are asking for more of what we are doing from the ministry standpoint. Details to this story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall. The fight against child sexual abuse is one from which the government of Grenada will not back down. In fact, addressing the media Tuesday's post-cabinet briefing, Social Development Minister the Honorable Delma Thomas announced that cabinet has begun the process of appointing a committee to guide government policies on child abuse issues. The committee will see representation from a wide cross-section of persons who can influence plans, programs and laws relating to child sexual abuse. Anything that can deter offenders or persons, perpetrators from getting involved with children, this committee will sit and, and discuss. Cabinet's move comes on the heels of the launch of the book Helpless Cries by Michelle Alexander, a victim of child sexual abuse. Ms. Alexander, an employee in the Ministry of Social Development, has been using her story to fuel awareness in schools around the nation, and according to Minister Thomas, favorable responses have been flowing in. She refers to the young author as an asset to her ministry. I believe that the launch of Michelle's book assists many of us, even where I sit as Minister with Responsibility of, for Social Development. Michelle has been a motivator for us in championing the cause of persons or children who have been abused. Michelle coming forward led to many other persons coming forward also. Many children coming, they are, they are calling, they, they are asking for more of what we are doing from the ministry standpoint. The minister has pledged government's commitment to protect its young and promising citizens. We are expecting next year's celebration to be bigger and better than before. And the only way it can be bigger and better than before is when we have the full participation of the entire nation of Grenada, Karakou, and Piti Martinic. That's Chairperson of the National Celebrations Committee, Anne-Marie Marichaud, speaking at the launch of Grenada's 43rd Independence Anniversary Celebrations on Tuesday. The theme guiding the celebrations come February 7, 2017, is forging ahead together for continued national development. Ms. Marichaud says the celebrations will begin as soon as the Christmas festivities are over. She's encouraging Grenadians to showcase their patriotism by beautifying their villages with the national colors. A billboard will be erected in La Poetry this year in honor of last year's winner of the best village competition, the Village of La Poetry in St. Andrew. Minister of Culture, the Honorable Brenda Hood, says a highlight of the 2017 independence celebrations will be the presentation of awards to persons for their outstanding contributions. The Governor General, Dame Cecile Lagrenard, will once again bestow honors on several Grenadians. As you know, this year was the first time we did it. Many persons were awarded a, a few years ago, but we were waiting for the awards to come, which it did come, and, and we will be doing the same thing. Special recognition was also given to the creator of the 2017 Independence logo, Anel Holder, as the minister unveiled the logo. This is the National Report. More news after the break. Grenada is riding the waves of an economic comeback, high growth projections, unemployment on the decline and a series of projects moving into high gear. Now, with confidence in the local economy high, once again, Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell presents Budget 2017, Friday, December 9 at the Trade Center. Here, the review and the purview of a government still hard at work even as it approaches four years in office. Unpaid claimed at its lowest ever in years. Record revenues from VAT, customs and inland revenue. Massive growth in tourism with an expanding yachting sector. Greece is soliciting the support of Grenada as it seeks to have representatives on the UN Security Council's non-permanent seat for 2025 to 2026 and the UN Human Rights Council for 2018 to 2019. The appeal from the new ambassador, His Excellency Nikolaos Kotrokois, as he presented his credentials to Governor-General Dame Cecile Lagrenard on Tuesday. 
the ambassador also spoke to their commitment to the fight against global warming and working with Grenada in the area of tourism, among others. My country is willing to strengthen the ample potential that exists in bilateral economic and trade cooperation, especially in the fields of mercantile marine, tourism and new technologies. I do believe that exploring possibilities of cooperation in the above sectors could produce good results for mutual benefit of our countries and peoples. Greece and Grenada established diplomatic relations in 1982, and since then, Grenada has benefited from the relations in many ways. We are deeply appreciative of this assistance, particularly as it relates to the development of our people, our country's greatest resource. Your Excellency, in the aftermath of Hurricanes Ivan and Emily, your country provided invaluable assistance to Grenada. We express our deep appreciation for this assistance, given in one of our greatest times of need. That's Governor General Dame Cecile Lagrenard. In other news, Tuesday, December 27th, will be a bank holiday in Grenada. The Government Gazette of Friday, November 25th, 2016, contained a proclamation by Governor General Dame Cecile Lagrenard appointing that day, Tuesday, December 27th, to be observed as a bank holiday throughout the country. And that's the National Report. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall.